What are the common things we tend to fear the most? Is it snakes, spiders, heights, or something less tangible? The transition from childhood into adulthood doesn't make all fears disappear. Even in adulthood, fears tend to surface. It's no more than illusions of reality and childhood trauma. No, I'm not saying everyone had a terrible childhood or are out of touch with reality. Fear is there for a reason. Fear helps us to avoid situations or things that will threaten our survival. So, here are seven common things we tend to fear. One, fear of abandonment. Being abandoned by others is a fear that almost every human has experienced at one point in their lives. Have you ever felt abandoned at some point in your life? For example, you were an abandoned child or your partner broke up with you. The fear of being abandoned can also be related to lack of self-confidence. A person who doesn't believe in themselves may think that they're not worthy of love and that they're not capable to make their lives better in any way. Do you relate to this? If so, what do you plan to do next to overcome this fear? Two, fear of change. Our brains are wired to react to uncertainty with fear. When humans were still cavemen, overwhelming caution and fear ensured survival, but that's not the case today. Sometimes, the fear of change may be hindering us from pursuing something better. According to Britt Bonick at tinybuddha.com, before we can grow new things, we need to look hard at what isn't working for us, what isn't serving us, what needs to go to make space for new, better, more deeply satisfying things to come. That could include work, relationships, ways of spending time, and beliefs. Then, we need to clean and fertilize our own fields and soil so we can intentionally plant what we want to grow. 3. Fear of loss Losing something that we hold dear to us is a scary thing. It could be anything from a relationship we cherish, an item that brings back happy memories, to a person or pet we love and care about. Merely Me of HealthCentral.com states, It is true that death and dying are an inevitable part of life. We will undoubtedly be faced with multiple losses during our lifetime, but this doesn't mean that we have to surrender the time we have now to fear. Have you ever lost something or someone you love? How did you cope with it? 4. Fear of being forgotten Do you have a fear of being forgotten? Do you fear that your efforts aren't recognized by others? You're not alone. We all work so hard to be who we want to be in life. We put in time and effort, maybe even blood, sweat, and tears. There should be some sort of appreciation and recognition in life, whether it's at work, at home, or amongst friends. Without recognition, we might feel forgotten. All the hard tasks we complete daily are in vain. The attention you give to people in your life should be a two-way street. Alexandria Brown at thoughtcatalog.com mentions, no one wants to be forgotten. No one wants to think that the time they've spent with someone meant nothing. No one wants to feel like they aren't important. But the problem with leaving is that you can't control how people react. For some people, it's out of sight, out of mind. Sometimes when you leave, it's hard for people to not think you're leaving them. 5. Fear of feeling unheard. If you consider yourself a great communicator, then this fear has crossed your mind at one time or another. Are you overly communicative, or are you terrified of confronting and expressing your feelings and thoughts to others? Pathwaytohappiness.com states, Sometimes we feel we're not being heard. Sometimes that feeling is from an accurate assessment of other people's behaviors, and sometimes it's just us. Oftentimes, it's also possible that the people whom you're in association with are more focused on their own perspectives instead of yours. 6. Fear of feeling unloved There could be a ton of reasons why a person would not feel loved. However, carrying the mindset of not feeling loved can lead to it becoming a reality. On the bright side, when you change your perspective, you can change your reality. Christine I. Bacho, PhD, of psychologytoday.com stated, If you're hesitant to let someone love you, consider whether your fears are justified. Remember that being loved is an integral part of living. So, what are the reasons you might not feel loved in the first place? What is the root cause of this fear? And lastly, fear of being excluded. Not feeling included is hard, especially if you strive for togetherness. Some of us have a small group of friends, and others of us have associates, friends, and those friends who have friends. <laughs> Feeling left out of whatever festivities are taking place is a mood killer. Margarita Targovsky of psychcentral.com writes, it's your close friends at a party, 
and you're not there because you weren't invited. Or maybe you get to work and everyone's talking about the cool event they went to the night before and no one asked if you wanted to come. Or maybe it was something else altogether. Either way, the fact remains, you didn't get an invite and you feel awful, you feel left out. Evaluate your group of friends. Is there a constant stream of reciprocation or are they only there when they need something from you? Check out our video called 10 Signs You Have a Toxic Friend to find out whether your friends are worth keeping. It's normal to feel fear. Fear is one of the most basic human emotions and it's here to protect. When we sense danger or feel unsafe and respond with fear using our survival instincts, we should understand our fears so that we don't let our fears control our lives. Do you resonate with this video? What other things do you fear the most that weren't discussed in this video? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more psychology content. As always, thanks for watching.